Yahusha's Words Only, Part 2. My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of Elohim, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaks of himself seeks his own glory, but he that seeks his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me, and drink. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen, amen, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see and they which see might be made blind. Amen, amen, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming, and leaves the sheep, and flees, and the wolf catches them, and scatters the sheep. The hireling flees, because he is a hireling, and cares not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore does my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No man takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are Yahad.
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Amen. Amen. I say unto you, except a grain of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. He that loves his life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. If any man serve me, let him follow me where I am. There shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause I came unto this hour. Father, glorify your name. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believes on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not. For I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejects me and receives not my words, as one that judges him, the words that I have spoken. The same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say, and what I should speak. And I know his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that receives whomever I send receives me. And he that receives me, receives him who sent me. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my Talmudim, if ye have love one to another. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in Elohim, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also, and whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, 
and has seen him. Believe you not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me. He does the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Amen. Amen, I say unto you. He that believes on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, guard my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Ruach Amet, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him. But ye know him, for he dwells with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world sees me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that has my commandments and guards them, he it is that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. If a man love me, he will guard my words, and my Father will love him. And we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loves me not, guards not my words. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. I am the vine of truth, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the words which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am 
and the vine, ye are the nets of reed. He that abides in me, and I am him. This same brings forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye shall bear much fruit, so shall ye be my Tamadim. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If ye guard my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have guarded my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servants not, know not what is Adonai does. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained that you should go and bring forth much fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me, before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Adonai. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they have guarded my word, they will guard yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had not had sin. But now they both have seen and hated both me and my father. But that the word might be fulfilled, that is written in the writings. They hated me without cause, but when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, the Ruach Amet, which proceeds from the Father, he shall testify of me, and ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. 
These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time comes, and whosoever kills you will think that he does Elohim service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye shall remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you ask, Whither do you go? Because I have said these things unto you. Sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you, and when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin, because they believe not on me, of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more, of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it, when he, the Ruach Met, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. A woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembers no more the anguish. For joy that a man is born into the world, and ye now therefore have sorrow. But I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man takes from you. And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Amen, amen, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask in the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time comes when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs. But I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name. And I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Yahudim. But now is my kingdom not from hence. These things have I spoken unto you. Have 
tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That concludes Yahusha's words only part two. Thank you so much for listening.